Hi everyone, it's Allegra Davis Hanna again, and in our second Canvas Countdown video, I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side of my Blackboard course and the course that got converted into Canvas. So you have copied a file from Blackboard either into a Canvas sandbox or into a Canvas course that you'll be teaching with students. Either way, you're going to want to compare the two to make sure you understand where everything got copied to. The first thing you're going to notice is that there are a lot of similarities in the general setup here. So in both Blackboard and Canvas, you have a left side course menu. Here it says announcements, meet your instructor, and here it says home announcements assignments. In both cases, you use that left hand menu to navigate through the course space in the LMS. The big difference between the course menus is that in Blackboard, you might be used to being able to add custom links or content areas directly into that menu. So you might have added something here that said course meetings or textbook. And in Canvas, you can't add links directly to the course menu. You can still add content to the course. You can still add all of that same uh, meet your instructor content or textbook content, but you can't add it directly to a course navigation link. So let's look at some things that got copied over into the same place, like announcements. In Blackboard, if I click announcements, it takes me to all of the announcements that I've posted in my courses. I tend to post a lot of them with these dorky Bitmoji pictures. In Canvas, if I click announcements, you'll see that all of those announcements got copied over but they're shown as a list and in order to open one and read it, I would just click on the name of the announcement and see the content. And in the last video, we talked about how not all of the images got copied over, but that's okay. If I wanna re-upload an image, I can. If I just wanna delete this broken link, I can do that as well. So let's say that you've copied over these announcements and you don't necessarily need them in your new course anymore. To delete them from Canvas, you can just click this checkbox and then click delete at the top. And it will say, do you wanna delete them? And then they're gone. You can also search your announcements. So if I wanna find all of my announcements that use the word detective, I could do a search and find them there. And if I wanna post a new announcement, I could click the plus sign announcement button here and I could post a new one. Now you're probably most concerned with where your lesson content got moved over to, and we're gonna get to that, I promise. But the one thing I do wanna let you know is if you created a custom link in the left-hand menu in Blackboard, like meet your instructor or textbook, that information got moved into the modules area of Canvas. So it's all still there, it's all still organized and structured the same way, but it's just in the modules area for now. That's where it got moved to. Your lesson content, whether you had it under lessons, modules, folders, whatever you called it in Blackboard, it got moved over into Canvas into modules as well. So you see in Blackboard, I had meet your instructor. And if you click on it, it had a banner, it had a video and it had a playlist. All of that stuff is still here in meet your instructor, has the same naming conventions, the video, the playlist that were embedded are still there. If I click next, everything that was in my meet your instructor area is still there and I can still customize and move it around if I need to. So I'm going to go back to the modules by clicking modules. I'm going to show you what a lesson looks like when it gets moved over. So I had lesson one, welcome and introductions. And on the lesson cover, I just had some information there. And you'll see all of my lessons are still here. They're separated by lesson. If I click the first item in a module, I will get to it. Now, in Blackboard, students are used to navigating lesson content by scrolling through each item. In Canvas, the difference is all of that is still here, but instead of scrolling down, students are gonna click next to get to the next item in the module. So I have my lesson overview, which has learning outcomes and the checklist, all of that still here. They're all still formatted, all still bullet points. And instead of scrolling down to get to the notes, I would click next. Now you'll see when I hover over next, it tells me what I'm going to next. So that's a nice navigational feature. I click next. 
In Blackboard, my students had to click this link that said notes and it would open for them a separate Google Doc that had the notes for them. In Canvas, that Google Doc is here and it's actually embedded within the LMS. So anything that got moved over as a link can be just embedded. My students can read the notes, can navigate through the notes, they can search, they can do anything they could do at the link before, but it's embedded. All right. So once my students were done with the notes, previously in Blackboard, they would scroll down and they would get to this video. In Canvas, they're gonna click Next. And you'll see that that video that was embedded is still embedded here in Canvas. The titles are the same. Then my students were gonna scroll down and get to their reading, it's a PDF. If they click Next, they're gonna to get to the exact same information. The PDF is still here and attached. They can download it and read it the same as they could in Blackboard. And then it's time for them to work on their first discussion. So in Blackboard, they would have scrolled down to get the discussion and then clicked on it. And it would have opened a discussion board. But in Canvas, the discussion board is here. All of that information is still there, the instructions, the formatting, the bullet points, and then students will just reply to the discussion. They can bold, they can format their own text, they can upload a picture, and then once they're done, they hit post reply. And then once they're ready to move on to the next item, which in lesson one is a quiz, they would hit next. And you're gonna see that the quiz is still here. It's still four questions. All of the settings are the same. They, my students still have two attempts. There's no time limit. It's a 40 point quiz. It's graded. All of those settings are the same. I can edit them or I can verify them. If I go here, I can click on questions. I can see each question still worth 10 points. The wording is still the same. All of that got copied over just fine so that my students could take the quiz. So all of my lesson content is here in Canvas in the modules area. But what about things like student resources or this compilation of literature that I had added to my course navigation menu? That's all still here too. Again, it's just somewhere in modules and it's copied over in the same order that it was in Blackboard. So it's gonna be below the lessons all the way at the bottom. So here's the literature. If I click it, the picture's still there. The information is still there. And the student resources that I had linked here have copied over as well. So all your information, all your links, all your files, all your images, for the most part, get moved over. And you just wanna go through and make sure that things are in the right order and that students can find them. The last thing I wanna show you is the syllabus. And the syllabus that you have posted in Blackboard is here, right? So if it's a file or a link or a class schedule, any of these items, and Blackboard got copied over into this module in Canvas. And then the course schedule is there for students as well. So all of that got moved over just fine. There's also something in Canvas called Syllabus. And if you click on it, you will see that all of the assignments are listed in the course. Now, once I have attached due dates to these, they'll be listed at the bottom and this automatically gets populated, assignment and date. And here is where I would put all of my information or if I just want a link to my syllabus, I can put it here. But that is a standard link on the left hand uh, in the course navigation for students to find your syllabus content. I hope that puts, some, puts you at ease and lets you know that your content got moved over, it's very accessible, and it's pretty easy to find in Canvas. Thanks everyone.